Hello, so today I'm going to be showing you how to do the side pose. Now the side pose is a very common pose that you will see in new photography. It's really beautiful and simple. So I'm going to show you how to do it at home. Now we're going to start with comfort for the baby. We're going to be using two um, blankets or anything that you have that's comfortable. Here I have my daughter's little blankets here. We're going to be using these as, as layers, okay? So we're just going to place it here. Also, I'm going to be using my couch as you can see. You can use a bed, you can use a white chair, anywhere that will be safe and comfortable. So I'm going to start by tucking in my backdrops. Well, these are blankets. My blankets, I'm going to tuck it in. I want to create a nice smooth surface. This, I'm also tucking it in everywhere that I can. I have already attached some clamps here. If you don't have clamps, just tuck it in. Tuck every piece of fabric in until you have a nice smooth surface. You want... um to get rid of the wrinkles as much as possible. Okay. So now we're gonna go ahead and start with the baby, okay? So we're gonna grab the baby right here, one hand right here and the other hand right here. In this nice position to just go ahead and place the baby nice and down. So now we're gonna go ahead and place the baby's hand right below the ear. And this hand we normally wanted to show, so we would just place it right here. But sometimes baby is not comfortable with the hand there, so we can place it more up here, more down here, wherever the baby is comfortable. There is no perfect point, okay? Sometimes we can even, baby is not really fuzzy at all, so we can even put the baby's hand here and the baby stays perfectly still. And it's a beautiful, nice way to get a nice picture. For now, we're just gonna go ahead and place baby's hand here, nice and gently, we lift the baby's head up and the baby's hand right here. I think I like that right there. Now we need some support right here. So right here is where we're, gonna, where we're going to start using our little towels. Now you can use posing pillows, that's what we normally use as photographers, but since I'm sure you don't have that at home, just plain old towels like these will work perfectly fine. You can even fold up some baby clothes, anything that you have will work. We're gonna wanna put these underneath the last layer. Not underneath this layer because it's gonna create um, a bad like, look for the picture. So we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna place these towels right underneath. And these are gonna go underneath the baby's head just to create a nice lift and nice support. As soon as I have the nice support, we let go, we smooth this back out again. And there we have it okay now as for the bottom part of the baby we want to create some support as well because we want it to be more uh, curved but we don't want it higher than the head so I'm going to be using one of these and we're gonna see how it goes again place again underneath the last layer our basic layer and just pushing it in I'm going to have to lift up here a little bit. And I'm going to just lift that up there. Put it below the bottom. And then for the legs, I like to do something like this. Now remember, this is not a real baby. But with a real baby, you get a prettier picture. You can do something like this for the legs. Okay. Something like that. Looks really pretty. And then right there, we're going to tuck this back in. Because remember that we want a smooth surface. Okay? So we're going to tuck all of that back in. want the baby stays to be a little bit more tilted so we just move it place baby's hand a little more underneath if you need more support go ahead and just keep adding it now the support that you need remember you can use towels it does depend on the baby's um, weight height and things like that so there's never a right or wrong answer for how much support you need to place okay as long as you see the baby's looking nice then you know you have it I'm going to smooth out anything here that I don't like. Okay. And 
there you have it. Now I have this. This is something that we wrap babies with. If you don't have it, just go ahead and place a nice cute little blanket that you have, a sheet or any little fabric that you have over the baby. Now this you can definitely just, I'm going to just open this up. And I'm going to tuck it in right with the belly. You can use a cute little outfit, anything that you have at home. Okay? And here, since I'm using this, I'm just going to create some nice little waves. Just like that. You know, just get creative. There's no right or wrong. Everyone has their own style. And some people don't prefer all of that drama. They just, you know, keep it nice and simple. But I think that I like something like this better. Okay? So now we're going to use these settings on the iPhone. Right now I'm using an, an app called um, VSCO. I don't know how to pronounce it. So it has this nice grid. And I like to just use this line right here. The second, in the second row. And I like to just put it in the half of the baby's face, in the middle, I mean. And then there is a nice angle to take a picture. So I'm just going to go ahead and click. And always hold it with both hands. Now another nice angle to take is a nice crop right here. Just right there, a nice crop. And remember to not shoot up the nose, so you want to go a little bit higher. Always hold it with both hands so that um, the camera, the phone doesn't fall on the baby's face or anywhere near the baby okay so now we're gonna go ahead go up here and just get different angles this is all about getting different angles and sometimes you get a nice angle on the phone all you have to do is rotate it later and remember to, if anything you see any little wrinkle, just continue to stretch it like this and continue taking the picture. I hope this video was really helpful for you to try this at home. I know that you can do it. So if you're currently pregnant, try it at home. If you already have your baby in your arms, try it at home. I know you guys are going to get beautiful images. Use the hashtag BBBrace to show those images to me and I could comment on them. I can even share it on my page. Also, um, if you have any questions, uh, any comments, anything you want to ask me, just drop it down below in any of our pictures or videos. I'll be more than happy to help you.